Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Hashtag Tea Tuesday. Tea Tuesday is an open collaboration. It's hosted by my dear friends Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things and Patty over at Life with Patty. Before I get into what I'm sharing with you today, I am having a diet Pepsi. All right. So recently, I have really enjoyed making junk journals. Whether I use a children's book or do it the traditional way, I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying learning about it. And so that's what I want to share with you today is another junk journal that I put together using a super duper adorable children's book. All right, I flipped the camera around and I want to share with you this little children's book that I turned into a junk journal. It is super, super cute. Not only is it tea related, but it's bee related. It's a little bee that hosts its very first tea party. It is super cute. I fell in love with the book. Jack found it at the thrift store. So uh, let me take the closure off. The closure is made with a baby headband and it's the pink one and then I Put the little bee with glossy accents and uh, so there's the closure uh, on the side the little dangle is a little bee a little tassel and a honeycomb you can see those Let's see if you can flip those around hopefully you can see those and so this was a super cute little um, storybook about a bee that has its very first tea party. So I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a fun one to turn into a junk journal. So that's what I did. So this page is one I created and I did a master board. So I stamped all sorts of tea related images, teapots, um, little spoons, sugar bowls, creamers, and, and uh, cups. And so I made that uh, my first little page. And this right here was part of the spine of the little book. You flip it and this, let me see, there we go. This is another stamp that I have. It's two little mice having tea. And then right here is another stamp that I have and it says be happy and I colored it with my alcohol markers. And here's another stamp with a bunch of bees flying around. Here's just a, a journaling page and it has a little teaspoon on the corner. Here is a page with a little envelope and this envelope has a little honey pot in it. Let's see if I can pull that out. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Here we go. Has a couple little uh, honey pot stamped on those little tiny pieces of paper. These little envelopes were gifted to me by my sweet friend Kim over at Kim's Inspired Life. Super cute, they've come in very handy. Um, okay, and then here's a uh, pocket right up here. You can pull this journaling card out. And then you flip it. Here's another journaling card. Here's some more of the story. And these are uh, a hard cover uh, pages. Here's another little envelope. This was gifted to me too. And how you make this envelope, it's by a six by six sheet of paper. And then you, the way you fold it uh, creates the envelope. It's so cute. So in here, what I have in here uh, are a stamped image of a beehive. So I have a couple of those in there. They get tucked in there. And there's another spot to pull out a journaling card right up here. Here's another little envelope. This one has little bees stamped on it. Oh, and a, oh yeah, some little bees. Let's see which way they go. Some little bees and some more honey pots. So those are in there. Another um, 
journaling card, and these ones have bigger bees stamped on here. Another tiny little envelope, and I don't think I put anything in here yet. I still need to put a little something in there. But those are so cute. Those little envelopes are so cute. More of the story. And then right here, another, uh, just a page to, uh, with, I'm sorry, another page with pockets. Here's a honeycomb. Here's a tag from one of the, uh, from the master board I created. Just a little tag and a journaling card. And they're tucked in this pocket right there. Flip that over. And here you have a corner pocket. And I put a little envelope with a card right there that they can journal in or use. Here is a, uh, another page with a belly band with a journaling card. And it says, let's see if I can say, you are uh, my sunshine. That's the journaling card right there. Flip that over. You have another corner pocket with some journaling cards and some more of those tags that I made. Some more of the story. Here's another little pocket. I'm sorry, another little envelope. And in here, let's see, did I put something in here? Some, I haven't put a bunch of things. Uh, oh no, I haven't put anything in this one yet. So I still need to put something in that one. And then this one does have something in it. It has more little B stamped images in there, different ones. Here is uh, a, another page that I created, a pocket. And this one I have some journaling cards, more of those uh, tags that I created with the master board. And then uh, another stamped images that says be happy like I used at the front of the uh, journal but you know those can be used for any other kind of project so that's that page or that page I created with that pocket and then here is a side pocket uh, more of those tags and they're just different sizes of tags and then a journaling card that I folded in half and then some more of those little bees that are stamped. So cute. And so they get tucked in that pocket there and there. And then here's the little tag that goes right in there. On this side, there's another side pocket. And in here, I have another little tag and uh, another journaling card. So cute. That gets tucked right there and the tag there. And then you flip the page. Here is another pocket. You pull these out and this is uh, a journaling card. It says love, love, love. And a little tag. More of the story. And then here is just a page to add a photo or whatever another little writing page and this has a little I think it's a little sugar bowl or a uh, uh, something like that or a little creamer and then another spot to journal on and then here is uh, a little tea set that says thanks so much or thank you I just want to thank this person that I'm sending this to now here is another uh, this was from the master board that I created and I created the back page and right here on the little teapot I cut out this B from music paper and uh, So every journal that I make is going to have some music paper at the very end uh, Just that's kind of my signature and it's a little B so I glued it on then Mod Podge the whole page I also added my sticker that says created by Rosemary G Rock Art right there. And then there's the end of the book. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, it's so super cute. And so let me see if I can show you the bee right there. 
So that's the little dangle. And then again, here is the uh, little headband that goes right on it. I am in love with this. I'm in love with this little book. I, I hope the person I'm sending it to falls in love with it too. But it's a cute, cute story. You know, favorite things of mine, tea and bees. <laughs> Oh, I hope you enjoyed this flip Thanks through. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit on Tea Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of this cute little junk journal. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.